Sea Fighter, highly skilled, big gym, uh, uh, powertrain gym out of uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Trevor Bryant is 22, 5'11". He is 3-0 and out of Family Combat Fitness uh, right here in Fort Smith. He is giving up a ton of reach. Yes. Seven, eight inches easy. Nick Colazzo is going to have himself, he's going to have his hands full. He's going to have to stay long. He's going to have to angle or Trevor Bryant's going to swamp him. Yeah, I, I saw Trevor Bryant fight in November uh, for the title that he holds right now, the 185-pound title, he, and he just, I mean, he severely hurt his foot early in the fight against Justin Budd, and uh, he just used his pure strength to wrestle away and ended up getting yep. the finish against Budd, and he could barely walk after the fight, but Trevor yep. Bryant just so strong, and he's yep. able to, to get that win, and we'll, we'll see what he can do tonight. They said that. Will Walker was talking about what kind of ridiculous, ridiculous athlete he is. Just us here tonight to enjoy ourselves. Oklahoma Bowl, here comes Trevor Bryant. Ladies and gentlemen, this is scheduled for five three-minute rounds of the middleweight championship. The introducing first fighting, Heather Blue Carter standing six foot, five inches tall, weighing at 185.5 pounds. With a record of one lane and two losses from CD Powertrain from Fort Worth, Texas, Nicholas Nico Suave Colazzo. <laughs> and his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot, 11 inches tall, weighing at 100. Gonna draw into the middle of the cage. You give him the rules. It's gonna be exciting, guys. You guys buckle up. Yep. Strap in. Trevor Bryant in the black shorts. Nico Suave in the oh, wow. white shorts. You see Nico is coming out and using the push kicks to keep his distance earlier. Bryant shooting for a single leg fine. Finally gets him to take down. Bryant has the underhook. Bryant has the underhook. Suave is actually whizzering him, he has the overhooking and pulling him up off his legs. Trevor Bryan is so ridiculously strong. Yes. I mean, just, I mean look at his legs. He's I mean, just a bull. His calves are just built. Uh, here you see Nico Suave going for what looks like be a, a, a choke here. Bryan's got both legs, sucks him down. He's going right to his back. Trevor Bryan's going to have to settle in and get a top position. Oh, Bryant's in a triangle choke right now. Oh my goodness. That's not going to get him out. He's going to have to get his arm across and pull himself out. He's oh, he's tapping. Oh no. Oh, no way. Oh my. Nico Suave. Landing himself right in a triangle. That is the one thing Bryant does is he gets out of control. He got out of control and, and landed himself in a triangle choke. Oh, my. Here you see the replay. Bryant got out of position, slammed him, and then actually raked his own arm across. He really needs to get his left arm across to take pressure off of one side of his leg. That's Trevor Bryant's first loss. And I mean, just the the air. It was just like a balloon. Let out of, yeah, just kind of got let out of the building. And the air building. just, I mean, the balloon popped as soon Man. as he tapped. You can tell Trevor's disappointed in himself. Trevor's disappointed. Trevor was looking to swamp him and really get him down. He really needed to jump in, Ladies grab and his legs, and settle four in. Four seconds of the first round. Yo, what about top out to a triangle and new middleweight champion?
we must 